So when you look at this molecule, the first thing you have to catch is that this is actually a metal. And so if this is a metal, it will have a plus charge, and then the rest of this will have a minus charge. That will be important. So when we draw the Lewis structure, the first thing we need is the valence electrons. So that's all I did. I put the number of valence electrons for each one of these atoms, um, and that will be 16. So now, um, the thing is, why I said that it's important to keep this as keep in mind that this is a metal, is because since it's a metal and a um, it's bonded to a non-metal, um, what happens is this isn't, uh, the electrons aren't shared. This is actually ionic bonding. So therefore, since it's ionic bonding, you don't actually connect them. You'll just show that the charges are attracted to each other. So that's what I put. I put Na+, plus, and then over here, how you organize it is you put since the structure of this um, shows you that H3 is next to B, what you'll do is put B in the middle and then surround it with H's. Then um, C will go next, right? Because uh, this gives you a clue as to how to order it. C will go next, and then finally you'll attach N to the C. And then from there, you just put, you just test it out, right? So we know here we can't exceed four bonds because it's already a negative charge and it would break the octet rule if we added any more charges. And we know that carbon should have four and that's why I made a triple bond here. And then finally I put a lone pair to satisfy the 16 and also to make, give nitrogen a zero formal charge. Now to go over formal charges for each one of these. So for Na, um, it's in group one. So uh, now we count how many bonds and lone pairs it has, and so it actually has zero lone pairs or bonds, right? Because it actually gave up its only valence electron. So it'll be 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, so that's why it has a plus charge. Now for boron, um, we'll look at it, and it, it's actually in group 3 of the periodic table. So, it, so we'll write down 3 and now count up the bonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has 4, so 3 minus 4 will be negative 1. So that's why it has a negative charge. Now for carbon, carbon's in group 4. So when it's in group 4, uh, what will happen is um, we'll write down 4 and then count up the bonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. And then finally, for nitrogen, um, uh, we'll, we'll see the periodic table. And um, it's in group 5, so we'll write down 5, and then we'll count the number of bonds and the lone pairs. So 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5. So 5 minus 5 is just 0. So these two have 0 formal charges, boron has a negative charge, and then uh, Na has a plus charge. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.